When it comes to the New York Jets, there truly never is a dull moment, ever. Just when you think you know something, you don't. When you assume something, you're usually wrong and everything else. And today is another example of that. So when Zach Wilson first got hurt, our first scare was, oh man, he's out for the year. Then you got news, you know what, he's not out for the year. He's got a minor procedure coming up. It could be, what, four to six weeks, whatever else. And in the back of your head, we're all saying, you know what, he's probably going to miss two or three games. And we accepted it because it's better than missing the whole season. And we all move on. Then slowly but surely, the anticipation builds up. And you see him, you know, he went from the golf cart to walking. Then he's starting to work out. So you get excited and you start buying into it. Like, hey, man, maybe he can come back earlier. Maybe this. But you don't want to rush him back. And we all agree on this. Like I said on the last couple of videos and the stream last night, when you're coming back from an injury like this, after you miss your preseason games, the joint practices and everything else, you got to get, you know, first of all, you got, you know, acclimated to the offense again. You got to reestablish chemistry with your teammates. You got to be confident in your in your legs running around. You got to get hit a little bit. There's so many different aspects just to get comfortable and back into the flow of being a quarterback in the NFL. It's not going to happen in two days. But you're like, all right, maybe they're doing something we don't know about. I have no idea. So when Salas says, you know what, there's a chance that Zach Wilson could play on Sunday, you're like, man, that's, that's wild. And he said, we just want to see how his body reacts to the, the training, how, to the workouts. Okay, the chance for that. So then today was a big day. We're going to announce, like, is, is Zach going to play or not? Right, Sunday, right? So they come out and say, not only is Zach not playing on Sunday, he's out three games. So from a chance to play to out three games, but it gets better. There was no setback. If there was no setback, then what's, what's the delay? Now, I understand, man. Like, coaches trying to get every competitive advantage they have, they're always lying to you. But in this situation, there's really not much of a competitive advantage because Zach's been out for a while. The Ravens are already preparing for Flacco. And you're announcing it on Wednesday. Wednesday. The fucking game is Sunday. Like, like this isn't like you're surprised on Saturday night or Sunday morning. You know what? We're changing our quarterback. There's nothing here. It's just, it comes off as incompetent. It comes off as lying and shady, especially after Mekhi Becton last year, where it was like six to eight weeks and he's out for the year. The way you handle this, it's not hard. Listen, I'm just a fan, man. I know how to answer these questions. You know, Zach's getting back in the flow here. We don't want to put a timetable on it yet. It's a lot of hurdles he has to cross. Once he gets those hurdles, we'll establish a timeline, period. Don't put that he could play week one thing. Were you trying to sell tickets? Like, what are we trying to do here? It doesn't make any sense. Like, and it's like, I know people are saying, oh, you're being critical. Listen, part of your job as a coach, and especially in the New York market with this fan base and this media, is you got to be smart. You got to be savvy. And doing shit like this just looks stupid. And now you have all this unnecessary attention, all this unnecessary distractions with the media harassing you. Like, and then he says, you know what? I don't want to be answering these questions, so I'm telling you now. You know what? If you would have answered the question correctly yesterday, you wouldn't have this problem today or make this statement today. Don't even throw the, the softball out there. He could play on Sunday. It's, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I hate the way they handled this. And when it comes to injuries and stuff, the Jets just, for whatever reason, their communication is poor, their messaging is poor, and their handling is poor. But whatever it is, Zach is out three games. It sucks, but it could have been a lot worse. But the notion that the kid's got to prove that he can stay healthy is actually fair. He missed, what, three or four games last year. He missed three games this year. The same way that we always say the Jets got to prove they're a good team. Like, we think they're heading in the right direction. We think they're doing a lot of right, good things. They actually got to prove it on the field. Zach has got to do the same thing, man. He's got to at some point prove that he can stay healthy for a full season. Like, the rest of the season, play to 14 games or 13 games, whatever it is. Play the string out. Get, get yourself going. But this is, this is, you know, it's a trend. And that's unfortunate, but it's a fact. And I like Zach Wilson. I'm not being hard on him, but this is just the nature of the beast right now. So it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not surprised. Like, I thought Flacco was going to start Sunday. I'm surprised Zach's out. I mean, he's, he's going to be playing three weeks. But that's the NFL, man. You never know. And the other notion is now there's a thing where what if Flacco wins all three games? You play Zach Wilson? You have to. Like, and I understand people are like, oh, it's all about winning. This year is all about Zach Wilson because the last thing you want to do is go through it in the entire season and not knowing what Zach Wilson is. And then you're going into year three. Like, it, it, listen, man, this is it's a young rebuilding team and you're building with your, your franchise quarterback and he's the guy. He's got to play as much as possible this year, whether you like it or not. And you can't be scared to play him. You, like, listen, if you're 3-0 and you're handing him a team that's winning, step right in, kid, and enjoy the ride and, and you better keep up with everybody else because you can't – the NFL waits for nobody. So – We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll be in J21 on Sunday. We're not hosting a tailgate. 
We're just, we're parking there. We'll have some food, we'll have some beer, but not enough for like 500 people. We'll have some extra, but if you want to park there and bring your own food, you can use our grill, you, you know, bring beer or whatever else, and uh, we'll see you then.